Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome to my channel. And as you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics and these videos are based on the internationally accepted US National Medical Library database and that's why you can trust the information given in these videos. And today we are going to talk about fatty liver. A lot of people have asked me about this topic and uh, I'm going to cover this topic in two sections. Basically fatty liver is divided into two sections. So I'm going to discuss fatty liver which is caused because of alcohol ingestion and fatty liver which is non-alcoholic that's the actual differentiation in medical field fatty liver can be because of both these reasons so today first we'll discuss about fatty liver which is caused without alcohol without taking alcohol if you don't take alcohol that is called a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease this is n-a-f-l-d this is basically the buildup of fat so today we are going to understand what are the possible causes of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease what symptoms will it cause how it is treated how it can cause problems in your future and how to get rid of it so don't go anywhere let's get started If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. So guys, fatty liver is basically build up of fat in the liver. And when this is without the ingestion of alcohol, this is called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease which is not caused because of drinking too much alcohol so people who have it do not have a history of heavy drinking so if you have a history of heavy drinking in the past and you think that i don't drink now still your fatty liver can be because of the past drinking problem so nafld or fatty liver with non-alcoholic fatty liver is closely very closely related to being overweight for many people, fatty liver, non-alcoholic fatty liver causes no symptoms or no problems. But there is a serious version of this disease which is called as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, N-A-S-H. So NASH is a serious condition which can cause liver failure, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. So, so let's try to find out what are the basic reasons, what is the cause of fatty liver, what is the cause of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NASH, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. The first reason why you can get fatty liver is obesity, being overweight. The more overweight you are, the higher you have the risk of developing fatty liver. That's why majority of overweight people will have some degree of fatty liver in their ultrasound reports second reason is insulin resistance if you are pre-diabetic then also you have a higher chance higher risk of fatty liver if you are actually diabetic type 2 diabetes if you have high cholesterol high triglycerides triglycerides are different than cholesterol we have discussed this in our cholesterol section cholesterol video so do watch that so high triglyceride high cholesterol diabetes pre-diabetes overweight and even high blood pressure so if you have any of these or many of these then you have a high chance of having more fat deposited in your liver and having various grades of fatty liver then there are certain other risk factors also like a rapid weight loss or a poor diet yes rapid weight loss can actually stimulate fat deposition in the liver for storage purposes your body tries to store fat for future for future energy usage then people who have gone through gastric bypass surgery the same reason you your actual weight diet becomes very poor then if you have a bowel disease if you have an intestinal bowel disease then there are certain medicines like calcium channel blockers or certain cancer medicines which can increase your chances of having a fatty liver. But let me tell you guys, even if you have none of the all these problems, even if you have none of these risk factors, then also still you can have fatty liver disease. 
non alcoholic fatty liver disease so what are the symptoms what will happen if you have a fatty liver disease mostly non alcoholic fatty liver disease will have no symptoms and if at all symptoms occur it will include fatigue pain in the right upper abdomen because that's where the liver is so you can have pain in that area then people with nash non alcoholic steatohepatitis who actually have liver damage which is called cirrhosis they can have many more symptoms and these people can have weakness loss of appetite nausea they can have vomiting also they can have yellow discoloration of their skin their eyes jaundice they can have itching all over the body they can have fluid build up in the legs swelling in the legs swelling in the abdomen fluid build up in the abdomen ascites they can have mental confusions and even gastrointestinal bleeding they can have black stools bleeding from the intestines when there is bleeding in the upper intestines slowly it get mixed up with the stools and stool becomes black so black tarry stool is a sign of intestinal bleeding when i talk about tarry i mean black tar dumber so how can you diagnose whether you have this problem or not see often during routine blood tests routine ultrasounds often during routine checkups routine ultrasounds fatty liver is found in people and we can check your liver functions along with ultrasound by doing a blood count complete blood count prothrombin tine blood albumin level or a complete lft liver function test can also be done then sometimes a ct scan or an mri may also be needed if you suspect some other problem and if the doctor suspects that you have nash non alcoholic steatohepatitis then in order to confirm the diagnosis we have to take a part of the liver a liver biopsy is needed because nash is much more severe than simple non alcoholic fatty liver so lastly let's talk about the treatment there is no specific treatment for non alcoholic fatty liver disease there is no treatment except management of causes management of risk factors so the goal here is to manage your risk factors and any other health condition which you have that's why your doctor will basically make you understand that this is this these things are causing your conditions sometimes they may explain in detail sometimes they will just tell you do this so what you need to do is first thing you need to do is you need to lose your weight if you are overweight second you have to eat a very healthy diet which is low in salt third if you drink alcohol stop drinking it fourth stay active stay physically active that will use the fat in your liver and fifth manage your health conditions like diabetes high blood pressure get treatment get medicines and control these things same thing goes for your cholesterol levels your triglyceride level manage them watch videos about cholesterol blood pressure diabetes on my channel don't forget to understand this in depth there are so many videos from all angles covered for diabetes and hypertension then some other things which you can do is you can get vaccinated for diseases like hepatitis a and hepatitis b because if you get these disease your liver will get damaged very soon in the presence of fatty liver so you can get vaccinated for that and if your doctor is providing you medicines then you need to take the medicines as directed by your doctor for any health condition for diabetes hypertension and before taking any other if you are planning to take any other substance any herb any supplement or anything which you see online or some youtuber has told you about and ha has been vouching about its benefit talk to your doctor be safe i am not saying it will cause damage but better be safe than sorry any herb or supplement can interact and have bad effects on your liver now if you talk about can you actually reverse fatty liver then yes two basic things if you do all these things lose your if you lose your weight if you manage your diabetes hypertension all these health conditions then definitely slowly but yes many times 
fatty liver is completely dissolved, completely reversed. Now, if we talk about prognosis, what might happen in the future if you continue to have this problem, then many people who have non-alcoholic fatty liver, many people who have fatty liver will have no health problems and do not go to develop non-alcoholic T2 acidosis. No. And no, not all people will of fatty liver will develop NASH, non-alcoholic T2 hepatitis. No, not all. Some might, but not all. Majority will not. Obviously, the people who are losing weight, managing their risk factors, living the healthy lifestyle will be the ones who will not get NASH. And people who are not following any of these things, just ignoring the advice of their doctors can have higher chances of developing NASH. So is there final, so is there anything which you can do to prevent fatty liver? If you don't know whether or not you have fatty liver right now, then yes, there are five things which you can do to prevent fatty liver. First, first maintain a healthy weight. Second, eat a healthy diet. Exercise regularly. Limit or stop alcohol consumption and use your medicines properly whatever you are taking them for consult with your doctor so that's all about fatty liver guys i hope you have understood the concept in depth next time i'll be discussing about alcoholic liver disease the fatty liver which is caused because of because of over intake of alcohol so those who don't know me i am a consultant physician cardiologist in yashoda super speciality hospital nehru nagar gaziabad uh, so I hope you liked the video. If you did, then don't forget to share these videos with all your friends and even on social media because many people in the world, maximum of them have fatty liver problem and should understand the basic. So if this video has helped you, it might just help them as well. So just spread this thing like fire. So till next time, I'm Dr. Paramjeet. Those who don't know me, I am a consultant physician and cardiologist in Yashoda Super Speciality Hospital, Nehrunagar, Delhi NCR. And I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Stay connected, stay healthy.